Hello everyone, this is the lesson wrap up for tell me about your best friend. So we're just going to go over a couple, few tips here. Um, the first tip we're going to look at is the situation in which you may have more than one best friend. Again, this is where the magical little conjunction of and comes into play. So if I ask you, do you have a best friend? Right now, we already know the answer. His name is Joe. Her name is Lisa. Now, if we have more than one best friend, we can say this. We can say we want to use the possessive pronoun, the possessive plural pronoun there. And then we will put our object here, their names. So we want to use the S at the end. So we can say their names are, then we want to use the plural to be verb. Their names are Joe and Lisa. So you can use and right there. If you have three best friends, their names are Joe, Lisa, comma, or not no comma there. So let me start over again. Their names are Joe, Lisa, and Cody. Um, so yes, you can use and to make your answers a little bit longer. Now, you can also use my. Uh, do, you have a, do you have a best friend? Yes, my, friend, my best friends are Joe and Lisa. So you can also answer this using the possessive first. Um, you can look in your talking tips and you can see other variances in which you can use to put together a sentence. Um, another thing I want to cover is, and this is just a quick review, switch genders for some of the, the personalities or stereotypes that we have that we that we have in this lesson. So, you know, we've got one for intelligent guy, which would be a man. Um, and you can, or you can say an intelligent girl. Same thing with funny. We've got funny guy. If your best friend is a girl and she's really funny, you would say she's a funny girl. And then, of course, we've got multiple commonalities. We're going to have a lot in common with our best friend. It may, it'll may it probably be more than one thing. Um, so we start that sentence off with the multiple commonalities. We both like. So we can say we both like watching movies. And you can end your sentence there, but maybe you have more than one commonality. And again, that's where and comes into play. We both like watching movies and, I don't know, talking politics. We both like watching movies and talking politics. Now let's say you've got more than more than a, one best friend. Let's say you've got two best friends or three best friends, four best friends, or if you're just a social butterfly, maybe 10 best friends. We remember that this means for two people, this word both, it is a, we use that for two people. Um, now, if it's more than two people, Take away both and use all. Um, so if you have uh, three best friends, you can say, "Oh yes, uh, you know what do you what do you have in common?" We all like watching movies and talking politics. And another thing I can say here is this can also be this optional. You can say we like watching movies and talking politics. 
So that is going to conclude this lesson wrap up for Tell Me About Your Best Friend. Um, thank you very much for following along, and I will see you in the next lesson.